Since we made over our kitchen, I placed our coffee station back to where it was originally, and I added some simple touches that have a big impact like my designer-inspired DIY coffee and sugar canisters that I shared with you guys last year, and I get tons of questions from you guys wanting a detailed video on how I did it. Well, it's very simple for you to create this look along with a few other styles that you can get the high-end designer look for less. If you are not familiar with Michael Aram, he's a metalware designer artist that makes the most beautiful kitchen home decor accessories in my opinion. And as you can see, they are not cheap. And that's where I got my inspiration from to create something similar, but for a lot less. I'm using bathroom canisters I got from Home Goods years ago, and they were too pretty to get rid of, so I upcycled them and I removed the original top that came with them and added these pieces I got from Pottery Barn Kids. They no longer sell them, sorry to say, but I do have other options for you. I've had a long time love affair with Mixed Metals and my all time favorite silver company, Gottinger, and that's where you can get this beautiful set from. I will provide a link down below if you want to purchase one because I have a pretty good feeling this will sell out very quickly. This leaf jam jar with spoon is stainless steel. You can use it for honey, sugar, coffee, anything you want. The handle is tall, which makes it easy to grab. And the hammered metal lid just adds that extra texture that makes this set interesting. Each set is sold separately. On Instagram, Modern Lifestyle Decor did something like this on her IG page and I thought it was just darling. Here's another sweet option for you that will cost you under $23 for the set just by making it yourself. This decorative metal floral dish is from Target and it's by Opal House. It's a shallow bowl that's used to place your keys, your jewelry, or loose change inside. And what caught my attention was the bottom of this. It was very flat where you could glue or screw this piece to a jar of your choice. If the gold is too much for you, you can also use a smaller one with the color of your choice. Target Dollar Spot has these ceramic jars for three bucks each. This is perfect if you're not into bling and you want something a little more subtle, maybe farmhouse chic, you decide. You can simply glue the metal floral dish to the top of the lid using E6000 or a silicone. And if you have a handy partner in your life, then have them screw it into the lid. Lots of bang for your buck. I get a lot of questions about the marble that my coffee pot is sitting on and it's a piece of tile that I got from Floor & Decor for around seven bucks and you can add felt pads to the bottom to protect your surfaces. You can also glue the metal wall dish to the tile but only for decorative purposes. Do not try to lift it because it will not hold. The tray that my canisters are sitting on is from Home Goods. Again, very much inspired by Michael Aram. And with the gold handles, I'm just so loving the mixed metals this year. I wanted a little glam to our coffee station, and I added this first batch coffee sign to an extra mirror frame I had lying around. Just Google coffee signs and print and place into any frame that you have. I hope you guys were inspired to create your own designer look. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, and I want to thank you all for watching.